The story of the writer who predicted in his novel the sinking of the Titanic 14 years before the accident and the strange details he mentioned in his novel and the commentary of the scientific community and an interpretation of the novel and many explanations from the general public and their shock after I read it. The Titanic is the largest and largest ship in the world at the time of its construction in 1912 and it sank in an unfortunate accident that is considered the largest marine disaster that occurred in human history. As we saw in the previous video, the novel The Wreck of the Titan was published in 1898. The novel presents a fictional story about a regular ocean liner called Titan, which sinks in the North Atlantic Ocean after hitting an iceberg. It was noted that Titan and its sinking are exactly like the passenger ship RMS Titanic, which sank 14 years later. From the version of the novel. In 1898, just 14 years before the Titanic disaster, writer Morgan Robertson wrote Futility, or The Wreck of the Titan, a book that told the story of a fictional ship whose sinking bears many similarities to real-life events in 1912. It was the beginning of the construction of the famous Titanic ship, at the hands of the most skilled and experienced engineers, and the most advanced types of technologies were used in its construction at that time, a giant English passenger steamship that was owned by the White Star Line Company and it was built at the Harland and Wolfe shipyard in Belfast, which is now Northern Ireland. Before the famous sinking of the giant ship, one of the novels of American writer Morgan Roberts, called Utility, predicted these events before the ship was built. In his novel, Morgan gave his giant ship the name Titan and made it carry 3,000 passengers and set off on its first voyage in great celebration to break through the ocean in early April. The story written by Morgan talks about a giant ship he described as unsinkable due to its magnitude and collided with an iceberg in the North Atlantic Ocean, drowning it and most of the passengers on it, which is exactly what happened with the ship Titanic completely more than 100 years ago. The Titanic was 245 meters long and weighed 45,000 tons, and the Titanic was 269 meters long and weighed 46,000 tons. The Titan had a power of 40,000 horsepower and contained 15 water seals, while there were nine barriers in the 46,000 horsepower Titanic. As for the speed, it was 25 knots for the Titan, which had two masts and three propellers, and 24 for the Titanic, which had the same thing as well. The similarity between the two ships also included the state of panic that appeared among the passengers as they faced drowning, in addition to the fact that the month in which the Titan sank was April, which was the month in which the Titanic also sank. As for the cause of the collision with the iceberg, it was the excessive speed of the two ships, which lost a large number of passengers because there were not enough boats to survive. After the sinking of the Titanic, Many people in the world noticed the great similarity between the novel and the Titanic due to the power of clairvoyance and Morgan Robertson's vision or his ability to predict. But scientists had another perception, which is that the writer Morgan Robertson is an inventor, and he was certainly familiar with the design of ships, and this could explain the dimensions of the convergence of the two ships. As for their drowning in the same way, the answer was that if you are a novelist and you want to sink a ship in the Atlantic Ocean at a time when there is peace and there are no wars, you will not find any solution other than colliding with an iceberg. And if this is logical and convincing, why was it not explained that the two ships had almost the same name in Garkham in the same month, and also that the two ships did not have enough lifeboats? A confusing issue, if anyone has an opinion and a picture of this, write in the comments.